A ERC-1155 contract manages multiple tokens in a single contract. Let's take a look at an example of a contract that manages multiple ERC-20 tokens and also an ERC-1155 contract that manages multiple tokens in a single contract. For this example, we'll be taking a look at Uniswap B3 and Uniswap B4. Let's say that in Uniswap B3, I want to swap DAI to WEF. And for this example, we'll also say that there is only two pools, DAI USDC pool and USDC WEF pool. So in this situation, if I wanted to trade DAI to WEF, then I would first need to transfer my DAI into DAI USDC pool, get some USDC, and then transfer the USDC to USDC WEF pool. Trade the USDC into WEF, and then I get the WEF. This is an example of how we trade ERC20s in Uniswap B3. Next, let's take a look at how Uniswap B4 will handle these token transfers. Again, we'll be swapping from DAI to WEF, and Uniswap B4 is an ERC1155 contract. As I mentioned earlier, this contract can manage multiple tokens in a single contract. So what you see over here is that we have DAI USDC pool and USDC WEF pool inside a single contract. The token transfers are internal to this contract, hence we'll be saving some gas when we trade on Uniswap B4. Let's take a look at an example. So again, a user wants to trade DAI to WEF, so he would transfer the DAI into the Uniswap B4 contract. Now, unlike Uniswap B3 where tokens were transferred in and out of different pools, here, all of the pools are inside a single contract. The transfer from DAI to USDC will be internal, will be done inside this contract, and the USDC will be traded to WEF inside this contract. And lastly, the user receives the WEF. So that is the difference between Uniswap B3 and B4. In B3, there are multiple token transfers. However, in B4, all of the token transfers are internal. This is all managed inside this ERC-1155 contract.